Welcome friends. So good to have you once again to study God's word together. We're looking at the mandate of the Lord Jesus and we're just trying to understand what it is that uh, he's come to do here on the earth. And we saw that he has come to provide forgiveness from our sins, but at the same time he's come to provide complete wholeness to every part of who we are. And today I want to talk a little bit about the earthly ministry of the Lord Jesus and what it really means uh, for us. As we consider Acts chapter 10 and verse 38, we read there how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and with power who went about doing good and healing all who were oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We've seen that the ultimate mission with which Jesus came to the earth is to make restitution for what happened during the fall when man disobeyed God and uh, at that time sin did not just taint the lives of human beings but we also recognize that the entire world was corrupted by sin and the enemy was able to touch everything which is why you no know, there is sin in the world there is suffering in the world there is sickness there are um, various forms of oppression in the world but there needed to be a price paid uh, which was perfect for the restitution of sin and the lord jesus came as that perfect sacrifice and paid it all for us now looking at what jesus did while he was still here on the earth uh, before he went up on the cross you know we see that he uh, provided a foretaste of the blessings he provided a foretaste of the deliverance he provided a foretaste of the healing which would follow the perfect work of the cross or the finished work of the cross so we see here in acts 10 in verse 38 that he went about doing good healing all who were oppressed by the devil so the lord jesus went about doing his ministry and his ministry was marked with goodness his ministry was marked with uh, releasing the blessings of god upon the lives of the people and how did he do this how did he overcome the enemy we also see in this very passage that it was by the power of the holy spirit so the lord jesus did all these good works while he was here on the earth so you know we see an integrity in what he came to do on the cross uh, with what he was doing while he was walking the earth and it was the same thing he came to release the sozo of god upon the lives of people uh, and later on you know we read in galatians chapter 3 verses 13 through 14 that he came to redeem us from the curse of the law having become a curse for us that the blessing of abraham abraham might come upon the gentiles in christ jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit through faith you know once again the scripture talks about the fact that jesus came to release the blessings of god upon us Jesus came to rescue us from slavery um that we were under you know under the bondage of sin and the works of satan so this is the mandate that Jesus came with the mission that he came with to rescue us and to release the full blessings of the cross upon our lives so can we just look to the lord and and receive what he has done on the cross of calvary let's pray together Heavenly Father we thank you that Lord you came to redeem us oh God from the curse of the law so that the blessings of Abraham might come upon us and Father uh, we we acknowledge what you have done God and Father we speak and declare the wholeness of those blessings upon our lives by faith we receive them in Jesus name we pray amen Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk please visit apcwo.org